someone who's listening right now who would say, all right, now here's another rich, fat cat Christian who's come along and he's, you know, going to tell us that that um, we don't deserve to get anything from the government and we're really, really in need. What do you say to that person? I guess I'd start with, we need to, again, I'd start at the macro level. This isn't probably how I'd answer them personally. As a pastor, I talk with folks who are in trouble a lot. And sometimes it's from, you know, gambling and got them into a lot of bondage. Sometimes it was debt that moved them into a place where there's a lot of, you know, marriage uh, difficulty. So from a pastoral perspective, you know, I'd probably handle this a little differently than uh, how I'm going to answer this initially, which is why are we in so much trouble? And why is it hard to find a job? Why did my house price drop by 20% or 30%? We need to understand what's driven this thing. You know, governments don't have any money. They can only take money. And they only have three sources for it. And one is they tax the producer. So when we tax the producer, those small businesses who produce jobs, and then we wonder why there's no jobs, excessive taxes, excessive regulation keeps you from being able to find uh, you know, a decent job where you can be paid. And so the government says, well, we'll just keep taxing them, and we run people out of business. And so it's a macro level that hurts people at a very personal level. The second piece I'd say is inflation. And I addressed this on our Godonomics DVD on the week on what would God say to Alan Greenspan. Since 1913, when the Federal Reserve uh, came along, we have depreciated or devalued the dollar by 97%. Imagine right now if every you know, 3 to $5 in your wallet was a $100 bill. Imagine mm-hmm. how much money we would have if we had not devalued the dollar. But that's what's happened. And because the Federal Reserve keeps printing, we go, oh, good, they've started printing. I mean, just with this bailout of EU, we're going to print the money. Well, what that means is if you inflate the currency, every dollar loses its buying power and prices go up. I mean, my grandpa used to say we'd go to McDonald's together, and he'd say, I remember when the ice cream cost 26 cents, Chad. <laughs> and I'd say, well, Grandpa, it's, it's 46 cents now. Now I go with my kids, and it's over a dollar. Why is that? It's not that the ice cream costs more. It's that our dollars are worth less. You can go to the U.S. government labor and statistics and type in how much are my $1980 worth, and they'll tell you, here's how much we've devalued your currency. And in the name of helping the poor, you destroy the currency, which ends up hurting the poor, the very people we say we're trying to help. And that's why the prophets say over and over again that God loves just weights, and an unjust weight is an abomination.